Check out channelfireball.com to step up your game with videos and articles from the best in the world. You can use the code Gabby at checkout to help support this channel. Everybody on YouTube and welcome. We are drafting Vintage Cube today. I just put this on the record. If we get Stripman here over power, we're going to take it. <laughs> Never strip mine. Ah, why? There's some good picks here, though. There's, there's some actual exciting pack one pick ones, which means I can't complain. Greasy Beasy, Grim Monolith, Kiki Jiki are all, I think, super fun first pickables. I kind of like Grizzly Beasy. You can do such fun stuff with this card. I saw someone, I saw someone like table this. I think Luis tabled this the other day and it just didn't make any sense. It was going like 13th pick or something. Just outrageous. And like pack one. If you don't take Grizzlebrand, you're a coward. I love Grizzlebrand. All right, we're, we're going to draft some Grizzlebrand nonsense. <laughs> Immediately Dark Confidant. Um... Yeah, daddy people arrive. Hey, Scully, how are you? How's the rest of the chat, by the way? I would love to hear uh, if you have any. Ooh. Luis, are you in chat by any chance? Do you think you and Raptor could put away the Prime Now order that's arriving soon? Should we just take a Dark Confidant? Dark Confidant is a combo with Grizzle Dad. It's a combo in not having any fear. That's what it is. No, DC, I am so sorry. Oh, that is Monkaes. You'd BB. BB. BB is good if we get like recurring nightmare or something. You'd Venser. I don't think I want to go into blue yet. I obviously think Venser is pretty good. I could see Sylvan Gatekeeper. I think. I think I'm going to take Dark Confident. I don't care if I have an 8 drop, seriously. I do not care. Okay, that's an actual reason for us to be blue. Now we can try to be like blue black reanimator or like recurring nightmare ish, sort of. You think you like Sylvan? Sylvan is good. Not going into blue, people leave. People weird leave. Tilting part is Iowa had. You were $103 short of the threshold for eligibility. Shouldn't you have been over for it to be approved? But that is pretty tilting, yes. Um, Bailey boy. This does look like it could be a Fallen Shinobi deck, honestly. Shinobers? All right, let's do it. Go bravely into the darkness. Pay any cost. You loved... Okay. Whatever. If we see strip mine now, screw it. I don't... Friendship ended with strip mine. We never even had a friendship because we never actually got there. I like Lily. Lily's an, a good reanimation spell. You get to keep her afterward, too. Boo-boo. Wow, these are all awful. I guess I could see a world for wandering funeral, mayhaps. So hear me out, Ritual. So if this were Dark Ritual, I'd snap it up. I think Dark Ritual's pretty good. I think Cabal Ritual's kind of sucks. So, I don't know, man. I don't think... Uh, I also think Luis is not... Hold on. I need to zoom out. Fumarole is Garbo. I don't know. These are all terrible chat. I don't know what to tell you. I'm going to take Fumarole just for lack of anything. Inquisition's pretty good. Corpse Dance is not bad. And then we could also Marsh Flats. Did you know how good... <laughs> oh my god. Gatekeeper, have you been playing with Thragdusk Upheaval? Because I had Thragdusk Upheaval in my last deck. NBD. You are duels give you odds to sneak attack, which is more than I can say for any color. Yeah, I agree, Ark. That is part of the reason I want to take it there. Even like, I don't even know if we play Kologon's Command, but maybe. Um, Marsh Flats gets you Fractured Identity. I mean, that is a reasonable thing. I think I'd rather take Marsh Flats than Corpse Dance. I don't think Corpse Dance is like... Oh, they changed um, Dismember Art, didn't they? Dismember is not bad. Could also take Caracas. Could take a Feomancer. We want to try to be a recurring nightmare deck. That card's really good with recurring nightmare. It's also really good with um, Fallen Shinobi because the snake can get in basically then like almost immediately. And uh, they never block the snake. And then you just Fallen Shinobi. Nice, Gatekeeper. I like it. Fair point about snake. Yeah, let's take a Feomancer. Who did that art? I think that's just like a promo art. I'm not sure. Some interesting stuff in this pack. 
We have Lingering Souls, which is pretty nice with Fallen Shinobi. You don't care that you lose a 1-1. You care that you hit with Shinobi. Could also take Blood Crypt. And then we have better fixing if we do want to actually want to end up being like some red. Like then if we get through the Breach or Sneak Attack, we're like kind of set. Um, Crypt, Crypt, Lingering Souls. Uh, let, let's take the Crypt. I think we're more likely to want to be red. Bitter Blossom looks pretty. Oh, I didn't actually click it. That was strange. I don't really know what that was. I guess Tide Hollow Sculler. Nah, we went two and one at uh, Jalark with, with this deck over here. I think I have it. Oh, I don't have it up anymore, sadly. I'm going to tweet it out because it was a pretty cool deck. Port Skull Clamp. Skull Clamp, a Feomancer. Skull Clamp, Baleful Strix. Skull Clamp, Dark Confidence. Skull Clamp, Bitter Blossom. We got there. It's, it's actually very good in this deck. <laughs> Hi, Jules. Uh, I, I probably won't end up doing that arc, but I will definitely be clamping a few Mancers and Bitter Blossoms. I have no fear of that. Do you like to join you? No, not at all. Do you want to join me? Video. Oh, I love that. Yeah, <laughs> I have a start of a good blue-black deck with a uh, Skull Clamp in it. Nice. 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 Uh, all right, let me... Hold on, we need to make a pick. <coughs> Filters, change this. Mm. Okay. What are we taking here, you think? Hallowed Fountain. Hallowed Fountain, my old friend. Thank you. Uh, let me just fix the webcam real quick. And no, webcam looks great. No, my love, don't be bad. Waha, uh -huh. you two went to a fire blast storm. That's awesome. That deck was horrendous. It was fun. I'm glad BK joined me for that. that yeah, was... just so chat knows, that last deck was basically every deck BK drafts these days. Yeah, yeah, no, for real. <laughs> he can't just win with, like, Glenelinda Archmage. He's just Archmage. chasing That's a That's just high... not fun He's anymore. He's chasing a higher Too easy. High. All right, I think we... Uh, Spe can... Speaking of Glen. Uh, yeah. Speaking of Glenonald, as BK calls it. Glenonald? <laughs> Glenonald's too far. <laughs> Glenonald's too far. You can't, you can't. Glenonald makes more sense than Denonald, yet BK does but runs both. Yeah, I don't think we need the Signet. We have a lot of twos. Like, this doesn't seem like a super high-curving deck. We're trying to cheat the Grizzly. I do like this deck. Ooh, I would probably, uh... Shallow, shallow grave. grave. I actually like Bayou... Or, not Bayou, uh... Days and decks like this, but I would Shallow Grave. Um, Chad, how's the audio? I'm just making sure you all can... <coughs> can hear us fine. This is the famous LSV from CR. A-okay? Cool. Where is it? There it is. <laughs> I just couldn't see it. Seriously. Hmm. Mm. Ashton Ryder. Oh, we are kind of setting up to be a recurring nightmare deck. Yeah, we, we have a are. Feomancer, Baleful Strix. Shit. We have a lot of the cards that uh, I like playing Chromox with, though. It's close. Because Chromox and Bob are good. Chromox Bitter Blossom is really good. Chromox, like, Liliana or Glenn is decent. It's also decent with Fallen Shinobis. I think I would actually Chromox. Really? It's rough. Like, I, you, you, this I do agree that the, like, black, blue reanimator decks actually do one stuff like Chromox, but I feel like Recurring Nightmare is less replaceable. Yeah, the, the thing is, though, like, every deck's going to have all good cards. If you can't deploy your cards, you're not going to do well. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. All right, we'll take that. Am I trolling? No, I think... No, he's... He... I think you win way more if you take Chromox than Recurring Nightmare. I don't think it's, like... Crazy to take Recurring Nightmare, but... Uh, Collective Brutality looks great here. Something is touching the mic. Nothing is touching the mic. Yeah. Also, DC, you put that bolus in your deck, and I assume that was like a joke or something? I, I didn't get it. <laughs> so, I don't know. <laughs> I, I did think your pick was good, by the way, though. The pick you asked about, I think you made a, a solid pick there. Nike! Thank you for the 14. I appreciate that. I think Collective Brutality looks good in this yeah. deck. For sure. Oh, free the booty. I do like free, free the booty. Free booty is so good with Fallen Shinobi. Free booty is very good with all this stuff. I 
do like Dark Ritual a lot. I guess Regisaur helps us bin stuff like... I've actually been kind of impressed with Regisaur. Regisaur is good, but I, I actually think your first instinct is right. I, I would like... Uh, Dark Ritual. Dark Ritual. Yeah, I've been coughing a lot. That's that's not great. Yeah, Luis has been a little sick. Ooh, I love Deluge. Even yeah. in a deck full of creatures, it's really good. Uh, you get to Deluge sometimes, like, not kill your own creatures, whatever. I don't think um, we're playing any of these. Yeah, the garbage pack is back. I guess I would take Dark Petition, but... Do you like that emote, Luis? I love... This is my favorite new emote. It's the Bone Zone. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. I mean, I hope not. I'm getting tested on Sunday, so... Uh, Raptor's Return looks okay. You have a, you have a Blood Crypt. Yeah. You, never, you never know. I'd sideboard it, but... I do think that your symptoms hmm. luckily don't track very much for COVID, but obviously I think... I don't they know have gotten better over the last couple days, yeah. and I've really the only symptom I've had is a cough, but... Yeah, Bayou, I think, is good. I think you've had more than just the cough. But yeah. but I don't think it, yeah. like, tracks with COVID, so... Yeah. Look at the bone zone! I don't know why, Kate, I love probably, it You're so up there on trophies, too. Mm. Me... Plus, recurring Nightmare Wield. <sighs> Look at that. Oh my god, it did. Re wow! If you live a just life, you'll get rewarded. Are we living they a just life? They kind of removed life? the Trace Nielsen Arts, except they just didn't on Plow. Ooh, it, it, bizarre. I think you're not going to play it, but... I think they just missed it. And then natural, or I guess they don't have an option. Not that I actually think it, like, I don't know, whatever. You could, they can do whatever, but it doesn't seem like that is, uh, should be super high on the priority list. Who knows? Mm, disenchant. For the sideboard. Passing a lucky BK, a last pick, Thousand Year Storm. <laughs> um, Ensig, I think if you have BTTV, it shows up a thing on your chat where there you can enable the, the animations, because you should see it like you see it down here. You should see that little skeleton dancing. Uh, what's our last card? Fatal push, maybe? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've seen those kaiju. Those are pretty good. I don't know if I've seen Rainbow, please. Uh, I mean, Urza looks pretty good. It's also really good with Skull Clamp, funnily enough. It is. I feel like we already have so much stuff that works with Skull Clamp that I don't know if we desperately need that, but Urza... I mean, it's also just like the next best card for you is Fatal Push. Yeah, let's just take Urza. That's fine. Also, for current Nightmare Wield, I mean, there's there's a chance. Troop of Cover is not bad with some of our stuff, though. There's a Verdant. I might take Tarpet over Verdant, actually. Ooh, Creepy does look pretty good. Because Verdant doesn't even, like, fix you right now. You don't, I don't think. Like, yeah. Marsh Flats does because it can get Hallowed Fountain for blue. But, uh, yeah, I, I love Tarpet. I, yeah, I think Tarpet's actually I'm in for that. Great. Oko. Oh, just take the Oka. Look, you've got yeah, Marsh Flats so and Bayou. Bayou. And I would have taken Burden, so. <laughs> yeah, I, I like I like taking Oka here. Chris, thank you so much for the three months. Welcome back. Oka's just room. so messed up. Oko. That's another Oko. card that makes Chrome Mox great. Because first of all, you can like turn to an Oka sometimes. Second, you if you draw Chrome Mox late, you can just play it, not imprint anything, then just elk it. Yeah. Like it, it is very good. Also, yeah, I think the Urza pick was good, but, like, you don't have that many blue cards. No. Mm -hmm. uh, ancient thing. I'm going to, like, I made an appointment to go to an urgent care. Uh, it's really, it's not as fast as I would like. It's not till Sunday. It was just hard to get an appointment. Yeah, Meyer seems fine. It gets black it and gets green. It gets Bayou, and it gets, yeah. You might end up playing uh, um, Rakdos' return, depending on how things go. Ooh, could, Ooh, we could Leo, Leo here. Yeah, no. Yeah, I'm kind of into Leo. Yeah. I don't know if we're getting there on the Gristle brand. We, we need another discard outlet is what we need. We, yeah, we, we do. need another one of those stupid, like, imp, like Putrid Imp or Unus Prowler or something. These are all terrible. I don't think we're playing any of them. No. So we're for the sideboard, maybe? Yeah, so we're at least you can board it in, in some matchups. Oh, Imp and Prowler are gone. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Um... You're probably not going to get Liliana at this point. This looks like a pretty good Phantasmal image deck, Yeah, though. I was thinking that. This is some nice saltage garbage. Salt, saltage, saltai garbage. Yeah, it's pretty good. Hey, what's up, squirrel? Yes, Yo! exactly. <laughs> Goodbye, bad scream. Welcome, good scream. <sighs> Wet tacos are obviously better than dry tacos. Can you pass me my water bottle, please? You know what I don't Thank know you. where where you can get here is the birria tacos. Oh, splash yuck. Look, even if we didn't get the nightmare back, which I'm not even convinced we're gonna play, this Chromox pick has been paying off. You have all these high impact two and three cost cards to turbo. Yeah, out. the the Chromox wouldn't have come back, I don't think. No. That's because there's sharp ones like me taking the mox. Just take no. the fatal push. It's, <laughs> it's good. Sharp ones like me has been called. 
I just had a pretty solid deck and I did well with it. Don't want to spoil it for the video, but you know. The VGO in the YouTube. Shoops. Yeah, there we go. I don't think we're playing the years though. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. God, it's so bad. I don't yeah, know. I, I want to take literally yeah. anything but it. Uh, I might take Quagmire. Yeah. The Quag? I know. Yeah. <laughs> You're not going to play Arrow, but yeah. Maybe you should have taken Angress Rampage, actually. You think I would play that? Seems you have the fixing for it, but unlikely. it's a it's an okay side card. Do you know if the test they're gonna do is like the swab test? Uh, it's scramble your brain. It's, it's same day. The thing is, I could have gotten a free drive through test, and I think this one's gonna be like two hundred bucks. But like the those the results take like five to ten days. This one's this same one's day. same day. I think so. it's worth it to pay for that. Yeah, I think so. Just like waiting around ten days to get your lab results is. Especially oh, you got tested, DC? Yeah, I mean, I, whatever, I'll be fine. I, that, that kind of stuff just doesn't bother me, honestly. I was going to say, I think you're, like, you have a pretty high tolerance for stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, I said 200. I think it's it, it might be more, I, it, but we'll see. Well, we have three free drive through testing also, but I just don't want to wait as long as it would take. I'm going to pay more for faster service. I wish, you know. Oh, my God, high tolerance for nasal penetration. <laughs> Horrible. Uh, uh, we could play... This is 22. I think we do play the Urza probably. We could do Rattus' Return. So what is our... Well, I think one, a good way to look at it before deciding What's the last mana? card is just... Yeah, before deciding whether it's Urza's or Rattus'. Let Rakt me scoot over everything. Because Rattus' Return might be easier on the mana. So Fumarol is in. Flats is in. You probably don't Bog want a Fumarol, actually. You don't think Fumarol is in? No. Oh, no, excuse me. I, I was... Yeah. Brain fart. Flats is in, Quag is in. Uh, does this? No. Are you a bazaar? Hmm. I don't think we're playing bazaar, yeah. are we? No, Halifant in because it makes your Marsh Flats into a blue black duel. Accurate. Creeping Tar Pit, Bloodstain Mire. And then Bayou. Like that. So if you did that, you'd have Blood Crypt, Bloodstain Mire, and Marsh Flats as red sources. You'd have three free red sources. Yeah, I'm going to pull out my handy dandy. Yeah. Or, or you can just eyeball can just do it. All right, fine. you can do it for me. Um, and then, so the, the the other thing, I actually think Skuller is going to be good because you, you're going to have one, two, um, no, why two do you sources. Mm. Oh, it, I think that's true, actually. Is blood, it's blood, blood Crib a worse um, mountain or well, excuse me, Swamp? If you don't play red cards, yes, but that's, you know, that's Yeah, not... I guess we just don't have red cards right now. As well. Yeah, if we don't play red cards, yes, we will not play it, but we're not we're not sure. Yeah, the other question is the Gristlebrand. So right now, you have one way to discard Gristlebrand. It does not seem like enough, and I don't think this deck wants Bazaar Baghdad. So if you were to take out Shallow Grave and Gristlebrand, we'd be a couple cards short. Which is kind of rough. man. I'm I'm sad that we didn't get the um, the dinosaur. No, the, yeah, I, yeah. I just don't think you could take it there. Hi, Nikolai. Welcome. So, How's it going? So I'm pretty sure we have to play Urza. I just think like we're not going to get around yes, it. Yes, we're think, short playable. I think we might play Sower too. Sower's good with recurring nightmare. If you have a recurring nightmare in play, you can Sower their creature and immediately sack it. Oh, L that's cute. L Lily, Lily's fine. Lily, I've actually been really impressed with this Lily as just a decent. Yeah, she's she's just a good card. card. I guess I could see splashing like so FDK I, or like Tide Hollow Skuller maybe. Yeah, I think our splashes are like these things, and we have two white sources or potentially three red sources. So I think the red gets a <coughs> slight nod. So. That means I think we just play like those, and then that puts us at 16 lands and a crumb mox and a dark ritual, which is I think a decent amount of mana sources. Love it, Dr. BB Math. I'll check it out later. So, right now, you're gonna have two, three, four green sources for one, two green cards. That's okay. And one, two, two three. three blue off of these three. And then one, two, three, four. All your lands produce black. So this is actually not that bad. Yeah, our mana's not terrible. Yeah, so like, what, you, what I think you can... And I think at this point you just play the Fumarole too. Um, 
If we're playing the FTK on the rack, this is return that helps. Yes. I don't think and you play, no, no You don't need a green land. No. And then now you have one, two, three, four red sources. Yeah, I don't think you need a mountain either. Cause you, cause the other thing is, you do have like, like sideways outs of like Chrome Mox imprinting a red card or, um, brutality discarding flame tum to start recurring it and stuff like that. Sure. Yeah, the the thing is, the, I think that it's not unreasonable to try to have the Bizarre Baghdad Gristlebrand Shallow Grave thing in. Yeah. But Bizarre is such a weak card outside of a dedicated Reanimator deck. Most of the times yeah, you have, it's just say, not going to be good. I, even in Reanimator, sometimes I don't even like Bizarre. So I, the fact that we're like only half Reanimator makes me hesitate. So if you had three islands and five swamps, you'd have five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. You actually go eleven black and four, five six seven eight blue and then four green four red yeah i think this is actually i think this is what i would go with sure and then this is a kind of interesting get... deck build oh this is one one too many cards uh did we go over uh, on lands no, it's yeah bizarre. it's a bizarre yeah there <laughs> that, that's what i thought it was so let me group wait where is group you have to right click on the thing all right and let's take a screenshot and before we go into round one we should go put away the groceries that just arrived. Oh, sure. Yeah, let's, so chat, we will be back in like one sec. It'll be very quick. Burb. Five years from G-Jibs. Oh my gosh, hold <coughs> on, let me look at that. Let me look at that. You all right, my dear? Mm -hmm. G-Jibs, welcome back with a 60. Um. Five years, holy shit, it's a long time. Thank you, G-Jibs, you the best. Chat, we have a cool unboxing that we're going to do. Yeah. Hashtag not sponsored. <laughs> it is from Tomodachi Express. Yeah, I don't know if Kelsey, if you're here, but... If Tomodachi Express is here, we'll open it. Maybe. Maybe. Yes! Oh. Okay. Do we have a pair of ski sores? I, I, I cut the ones on oh, the side. Oh, you cut the top? Yeah. Mm. Here we go. There we teamwork. go. All right, hold on, let me, we can probably do better. We can yeah. probably go to webcam view. There we go. Oops. Huh. They are goodies from Hawaii. Ooh. Let's see, these are Mayba's one-ton chip cookies. It says one-ton on it. <laughs> <laughs> what else? Ooh, we got some chocolate milk chocolate toffee macadamia. I love these. Oh, those look These good. are my favorite kind of I macadamia. I got a bunch of these too. for my dad when we, we were there for Christmas. Ooh, what I else? know it's fooders. Ooh, it's more wonton cookies. There's a there's some Ooh, and ooh, some coffee for Mashi. I'll, I'll make sure Mashi gets this, don't worry. This is College of Tropical Agriculture and Human Resources, University of Hawaii. Nice. Cauliflower Pauka. I don't know what that is. There are a bunch of like little. Yeah, it looks like seeds to, to plant. <gasps> huh. Oh my gosh, so cool! Thank you so much. Can I get There's the... a bunch of different seeds and stuff in here too, which is cool because oh. we've been working on a garden. Yeah, can I get the other garbage to put it in here? Yeah. This is really so awesome. So cool! Thank you so much. It's from a tomato. There's seeds Chris. for the garden. Oh my god, so cute. Can I see the seeds? The dog's really interested in this stuff, too. Yeah, of course. She thinks it's for her. Look at how cool. Sponge, I don't know we didn't deserve these, but... <laughs> Julie, she didn't do anything to deserve them, either. She's really just... She's right she here. just really thinks it's for her. Cauliflower, tomato variety kiwalo, tomato variety anahu, hybrid sweet corn. Ooh, I like that. Yeah, chili pepper Hawaiian oh, chili. Oh, nice. Um... These are all chili pepper Hawaiian chili. They might be like different kinds, maybe. Tomato variety Hayalani <laughs> and chili pepper. These are these are the, the things they search your bags for when you go to Hawaii to make yeah. sure you're not bringing that. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. Thank you so Kelsey, much. Kelsey, so much. Thanks so much. This is so, so sweet. So sweet. I'm excited. I want to plant these. Yeah, they're gonna be awesome. The the carrots are like basically done. So when all yeah. the carrots are done, I think we can just put those in there. Okay. That sounds sweet. Let's. You can just chuck the. On the yeah. No, 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 the Julie. Don't be bad. I kind of want to eat one of these cookies, actually, because I'm hungry. Yeah, all right. I'll, let's go for it. Ooh, so I got a sub. <gasps> PDT, welcome back with a 16. Appreciate you. Thank you so much. That's so cute. Look at yeah. this beautiful care package. 
Okay. Big deck. Let's go. Julie, it's not for you. Oh my god, this dog. <laughs> Julie! <laughs> She's so thirsty. Ooh, these look really good. Oh, these do look really good. Mm. These are like shortbread cookies. Oh yeah. Mm. You can tell these are good because the first ingredient is butter. <laughs> It's not flour than butter. It's butter <laughs> than flour. I'm going to have a little bit. Mmm. Give me a little bit more. Mmm. Yep. These are amazing. Chad, I'll show you the cookie right as we go into the match. Oh my gosh, they're really crumbly. Look at the cookie. Yeah, these are awesome. <clears throat> All right, Kelsey. You can't send us two care packages and not have me ask for your address so I can send something back to you. Yes, so please. If you can DM me your address, we'll, we'll, we'll send you something sweet. It's too much. We have we have some <laughs> Denver stuff that we can send. Yeah. Uh, this shirt is from Target. <laughs> Upscale boutique around here. Mm, no worries, Spider Charm. Uh, I haven't played very much Constructed. Luis might be a better... Recommendation for cool decks uh, heroes? Well, depends what formats you want to play. If you want to play standard, I, I think... Does. Yeah, this sounds good. Uh, mono green is pretty good. Mono white, I think, is actually kind of cool. Of course, you could play a Grow Spiral deck, but I, I assume you wanted to come back and have fun, so... <laughs> it is Beer Mystic, yeah. Mm. I think but, I should play Quag. Uh, yeah, I agree with that. Maybe we'll send Tomodachi Express some of the things Denver is most famous for. Or maybe maybe you're not supposed to send that over to mail. <laughs> <laughs> some buds for his garden, you know. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> well, show BK when we go when we curve. Oh, we're gonna fatal push that one. Mm -hmm. When when we go Quagmire Tar Pit Fumero, we gotta send BK a, a shot of that. The oh, Gross Spiral Bingo was pretty funny, except they're gonna hit it all in round one, so. I'm just gonna snap kill it. Yeah, for sure. Julie, don't think I don't see uh, you spider, trying to. Spider Trump, there's fun decks to play in standard. I just don't like the Gross Spiral decks very much. Um, I think Creepy. No, maybe Fumeral is better um, too. I think you want to play Creeping Tar Pit in, cause in case you play Leopold. Yes. You won't be able to play Leopold right, off the right, two right. islands. I mean, you've got uh, Flame Tongue, but I think you've got all these other fours lined up, so I'd rather optimize for a three drop. Yeah, Ben did register to Fairy Bird Glow Rats, but. Holy moly! There's it's burglar rats, rats is the is the near uh, is the new uh, weaselback red cap. Ratoncito. Are these one ton cookies? What you weigh if you live next to the factory? <laughs> Kelsey, I, I, don't, I don't know how you do it in Hawaii. I mean, I, I have enough trouble here. I gained so much weight when we went to Hawaii, like oh, the, yeah. the last trip we took before Ooh. trips were canceled. I kind of like free booter here. You've got a lot of good stuff. Yeah. Oh my gosh! Thank you so much, Cashmere. Oh my god, based on the Jen feces. <laughs> Amazing. Thank you so much for hanging out. Love that you came out for Mer Merc Lurking to say that, but feel free to Merc Lurk as much as you want. I'm doing well, Reach. I, I feel better than yesterday, which is better than the day before, so that's all you can ask for. Mm. Oh, this is a high stakes match, Gabby. Oh my gosh. I wasn't prepared. <laughs> my opponent has no chill. I think I'd take Necromancy that's here. That's what I was thinking. We can, I think, navigate around the living death and maybe, mm -hmm. like, Glenn can jabate it. Yeah. Make sure to play your Lianzu. Mm -hmm. Let me take a picture. Oh, what the fuck? I need to... They, they just have the revealed card zone, so... You can just use that. No, no, no. That's not what I'm doing. Oh, that's okay. not what I'm doing. I'm taking a picture of this, which is our deck right oh. now. Then, oh, I'm yeah. sending a picture of this. Oh, yeah. I like that. For BK... And then I'm passing the turn. Um, yeah, someone said you could put my name in the title if you were so inclined, or maybe oh, one yeah, of the yeah, mods yeah. could do yeah, that. Yeah, I, I can do that. It's easy peasy. I had. Uh... <sighs> That's not accurate. I thought I had. Julie, grass... do you want one of these toffee macadamias? Don't be bad. Here you go. Good dog. Don't be bad. Don't be. Crunch, crunch, crunch. <laughs> oh wow! Yeah, people really fell for that. <laughs> <coughs> Wait, my title never reflected that I was Friday Cubes with BK. It just says Monocube Control, whatever. Cube with Louise. Mm -hmm. I don't know why it didn't reflect that. That's weird. I guess, yeah. 
I guess, I guess you know, I, BK's going to have a hard time topping this, but I have seen him with uh, Quagmire, uh, Creeping Tar Pit, Lumbering Falls. That's a little bit more natural of a combination. <laughs> Rift one's annoying. Yeah, it really is. It's Bonzi. Nice, Dr. Mm. BB Math. Wait, what does Bonzi say? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. The Rift one's got two left. Is that right? Yeah, uh, it's I think, right. I think that's two, yep. Hmm. Yeah, BK was here for draft number one, Sponzy. I don't know why the title didn't didn't work. Hmm. I think we just played Glenn. Yeah, yeah, that seems fine. Yeah, I don't mind that. I'm gonna have one more cookie, but like that's it. Yeah, do your thing. Let's look like a living death again. So living death. Okay. So if they live you get, in, you get Glenn back. Yeah, I was looking, that's what I was trying to see, figure out. If they live in death, your Glenn comes back, or as does theirs. Do, 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 do. Um, Can you put the cookies away, my, my dear? <laughs> All right. The Rift one's kind of annoying because you can't Glenn it, but I think it's fine. I think you want to just play Urza with an island up, and that way if they want to bounce your Glen, that's fine. And if they want to bounce your Urza token, that's also fine. You'll have Glen up. You got to make sure not to get Inkized. But Inkized is just so bad. Like, you don't even have a creature in your graveyard right now. I, I, ooh. That's pretty good. Maybe we play him. Oh, we can't really... So, it depends on whether you care about them landing Living Death, because you can do... Hmm, Burner Rat, thank you for the five. Oh, I think... I appreciate that. I think I would play hey, Urza Daddy, and then play the Baleful Strix. Yeah, that's streaming be good. magic. It was amazing and really helped so you me to start my journey into Urza. streaming. Hope you are both well. Because now, if they want to go Riftwing, bounce your Glen or your your mana, and then play Living Death, I don't think you care that much. They lose their Riftwing, they get their looter back. Mm. Sorry, I was reading them. I was reading oh, the message, sure. which, thank you so much, Thornarath. I really appreciate that. I hope your streaming journey is awesome. What was the line you were suggesting here? Just passing? No, I think you want to play Baleful Strix. Wasn't that, like, pretty bad if they just living death? No, because they can living death no matter what. They can't, You can't stop them from casting living death. Because they can always just bounce your Glen and then living death. Yeah, but then aren't we just extending one more creature into the living mm -hmm. death? But it's a Baleful Strix. You can draw a card. Yeah, I suppose. Hey, also, there's, a, there's a chance they don't know that you can you can tap your Baleful Strix for mana. It's true. So, I mean, if they want to land Living Death, I guess now's the time. But I, I think this is fine. Sure, that's fair. I guess we do have Bob to refuel, and that's not bad. Yeah, I just think it's better just to play out your stuff here. No, it's it's fair, it's fair. Um I don't I guess we could attack with Glenn. Um, so if they block with Glenn, yeah, I mean I guess it it yeah, I guess if you think your Glenn's gonna be better than theirs, or theirs is gonna be better than I think than so yours. because they're they're I mean they're about to bounce my my Glenn anyway, probably. Yeah. Yeah, that seems okay, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Beep, 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 beep. I'm glad we took away the cookies. Those cookies are really good. Yeah. Man, we slammed when we went to Hawaii. Oh, yeah. I really want to go back. So people have been ranking stuff on Twitter. I think um, a bunch of people here probably have seen, like, the Magic community just doing mono rankings. But one of the cool ones that I liked was talking about... <laughs> You are now the biggest pog champ squirrel. Thank you for the five. <laughs> the greatest I'm pog the champ. Biggest pog champ. Pog champ. The greatest pog champ. Do, 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 do. Oh, look at them cowards! Didn't block. So they have ink eyes and living death and one unknown. Yep. So they might not also have a fifth land. It's possible. They could draw like, it though. They have one card in hand and one luck. Yeah, and I don't think it's unlikely, but. Do, 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 do. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
He did have the extra .01. I, I did. I did notice. Okay. Yeah, that's that's often how we plan our trips anywhere. <laughs> yes. Oh my God, we ate so much when we were there. I mean, we had like an entire like. Basically, a lot of what we did in Hawaii was plan out meals and figure out where we were going to be based on those meals and then make yeah. plans around there based on the places we were going to go eat. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Yes, it's, it really is smart, Janus. I, I have liked people talking about like their favorite meals. Yeah. You, you had one. Did you do meals or no? I didn't, just, do, I didn't do a specific You just ranked meal. your Goodreads. What do you think is the best meal you've had at the Magic Tournament? I mean, one of my most memorable ones was the first time I went to a Brazilian steakhouse. It was a Plataforma in New York. Mm-hmm. They're bouncing your baleful tricks. That's weird. So, yeah, playing baleful tricks worked out really well because now they, they, I guess they want a living death. I mean, they can get through with ink guys now, but you don't have any creatures in your graveyard. They want a living death, and then you can't counter it, but. Yeah. You're <laughs> okay. just off it. Um. Yeah, so it was after Worlds in New York in 2007, and it was so awesome because me and Chion had both done well enough at Worlds to hit Platinum, the equivalent of Platinum. It was the first year we did. I don't think you want to sideboard anything. Yeah, I was looking at this color, but it's really bad against the yeah. Um And we both had done well enough to, to hit Platinum, and I had to go, I started 4-4, I had to go 7-1 afterwards, and so we both hit Platinum. And it was the first year we did, so we were both like on the train. We were part of like Pro Magic now, and we went with like a bunch of other like pros. Like we went with like Martel and Rich Hohen yeah. and just like tons. Oh, Gabe and those Walls, people, those of, people slam too. And a bunch of people who it was the tournament I played Enchantress at, and yes, Chim Funk's Web wasn't playing Moat because he couldn't find one. <laughs> it was legacy, and it was hard to find. Um, and then uh, we, so we went to Platform. It was like. The first time I'd ever been to a Brazilian steakhouse, surrounded by all these magic pros, and I was so new to the scene, but I just became a pro, and it was, like, super That's exciting. Cute. And then, uh, yeah, exactly, Sponzi, me too. And then and then Webb and Chion had, a, had a, like, a, a, a eating competition, and, because they were both just slamming, and then Chion tapped out, and Webb finished Chion's plate. Oh, my God. It was amazing. Also, Webb is so skinny, like, I don't yeah, understand he how he eats eat so, so much. much. Yeah, Um. Back to the cave. We were in upkeep, so tapping for mana wasn't going to do anything. Yeah. But yeah, yep, and it came up that he didn't have the moat because Webb played against goblins and he couldn't tutor for oh, moat. Oh, that's so awkward. Yes, yes, he has, Ponzi. So that was just like, I don't know. It was just one of my most memorable meals. It, is that I, I felt like I got there. I felt yeah. like I was part of the club and I got to do this thing that I just read about and with all that's these people so I read about. And I don't know. It was so cool. Oh my God, how long ago was this? 13 years You're ago. like, I don't want to say it. <laughs> yeah, it's been 13 <laughs> it's gonna years date ago. Me. I feel like the most memorable meal that you've told me about is the the um, the Kobe beef dinner. That was that that that's really in the running. Uh, this is again with Chion. Me and Chion have a lot of uh, bonding over Weird. meals. Weird. This was a uh, a little bit. It was actually earlier than that. Uh, this was in two thousand and six when we both went to Nagoya or Kobe. It was actually Pro Tour Kobe for. Um, oh, this is nice. This hand is thick. Uh, a pro tour we both did busted on day one didn't make day two and we played in a two-headed giant tournament where the first prize was a Kobe beef dinner and of course Kobe beef is very famous right and we ended up it was a time spiral sealed and we just had these awesome seals and we just like crushed everyone we actually dream crushed it was a team tournament yeah, it was two-headed giant oh and so we it was actually we were locked for top four and uh we were playing against uh, this guy who had just top aided the Pro Tour, Ornos Zidak, this Czech guy, and his like kind of like barnacle friend, this like <laughs> random dude. Uh, Marsh Flats, Dark Ritual Fumancer. Yeah, I'm into that. I like that. Uh, of course, that friend ended up being Martin Yuza, but we. <laughs> <laughs> this was like way before any of us like were were known for anything. I Did like the Bayou. Bayou. You have more more green cards than anything else, I think. Sure. That or at least your green cards are better. I guess you have equal that green makes sense. and red. I hope this doesn't get countered. They do have. Uh... They could have some four spikes or... I well, guess if they spell first, it's one for one. Days is annoying, I guess. Uh, but we ended up beating them. We ended up winning in the finals. And we go to this uh, like $250 ahead Kobe beef dinner. This is back when me and Paul were just broke as a joke. We, did, we would never have been able to afford this otherwise. And it was the first time we'd been to Japan. So getting to do this was just so incredible. And it was just like one of the things I treasure most. Also, that was the site of one of the weirdest judge rulings I've ever had. I, I wasn't in this game. But uh, it used to be that when you morphed, because morphs were in Time Spiral, 
And then it turns out you morphed something that wasn't a morph, like by accident or whatever. It was a game loss. It was a game right? loss. Yeah. But two of the giants won game matches. So it would have been a, effectively a match loss. Oh. So someone morphed a rift when cloud skate and tried to pay five mana to flip it up because that's just what they thought it did. Oh, awkward. And the judges were like, well, and they were like conferring and they're like, you know what? Giving them effectively a match loss for this is pretty brutal. So here's what our ruling is. The cloud skates return to your hand and you, you, you lose 10 life. That was their ruling. And, what the hell? And then they're like, okay. And then they discarded the hand size and Madness was in the... Is, <laughs> and they madness a card. <laughs> oh my God, no it way. It was amazing. Did they win because of it? I don't remember who won the game, oh but it was God. amazing. That is just... You're like, okay, I guess Madness <laughs> Yeah. You're like, can I... Can I... <laughs> it was so good. That's outrageous. I'm going to play Creepy yeah, Sarpent in like the Oh man. Oh. It, in that vein, while we're talking about judge rulings, there was a... And this one actually goes by the rules, though I think it's kind of ridiculous. Someone played a turn two uh, Briarberry cohort. This is in uh, Oh my god, I've heard of Shadow this one. Shadowmoor. It's like outrageous. one in a blue for a one on flyer, and if you have another blue creature out, uh, it gets plus one plus one. So they, they tap two of their two islands, they play it on, or Briarberry, on turn two. Their opponent takes their turn. The person untaps, and then both players realize, like, wait, you didn't put a Briarberry cohort into play, you played an Isleback spawn, which is a seven mana four eight shroud. <laughs> And they call a judge, and the judge is like, well, whose turn is it? When did this happen? And they're like, oh, it's been over a turn cycle. And then they investigated the player, and they had a Briar Berry cohort in hand. And I don't think anyone thought the player did this on purpose. Because, like, I mean, it was just kind of the brain balls part. you'd have to have to do that. Like, yes. It, and, and then... I cast this card. It's not even in my deck. So the ruling was it stays in play. And it, and and then the opponent's like, well, I'll play my Briar Berry cohort now. It's a 2-2 because I have another blue creature. I've got the, the Isleback spawn in play. <laughs> It was just amazing. All of it was so good. Play a seven drop on turn two in NBD. Uh, I would just play the Recurring Nightmare. Yeah, just play it out. <sighs> they have six cards. Maybe I'll wait. I don't Tendi. know. Tendi. Thank you so much for the two months. <laughs> I just don't even see like what we're getting out of doing this. Uh, BK, this is round one. one. Yeah. Uh, you're just having it in play. I guess. I guess Blue Black can't can, really get rid of it very well. I mean, you could you could wait. You have nothing. You have nothing in your graveyard. I guess it's probably fine to wait. But yes, uh, it, it was ridiculous. Uh, someone you asked me a question about Peter Hamilton. I didn't really see what the whole question is. If you want to re-ask it, yeah. Uh, someone asked me a question about cube storage. I would invest in a good cube box. Like I think, uh, I mean, the sponsor for a team channel Fireball Ultimate Guard makes yeah. that. That's what I store mine in. And I actually had one of theirs before we even got sponsored. It, they're just pretty good. I like the ones that are magnetic. I yeah, find yeah. That those are pretty good. And then double sleeving the cube, I would really recommend. Um, Voidhawk, I, I, I really like Peter Hamilton. I've read, like, basically all of his books. Mm. Uh, I really like the Commonwealth stuff. I would sower it, actually. I would just, I would, I would just, like, swamp sower the, the sure. brawl. But, um, yeah, no, I'm, I'm a big fan. I mean, the books are long, but I think they're really, they're good, good, like, hard sci-fi slash space opera type stuff. I'm pretty, pretty happy with it. I was gonna say, that's why everything recurring Nightmare in play would be good, but I guess it was a romance, so it didn't really matter. Yeah, that's fair. Um, since I saw that whole thing, that that's pretty funny. <laughs> wild, wild old days. Yeah, I mean, I remember there was a there's a there's a pretty famous money draft where one of the players had a Portuguese Cavo chameleon in their deck, and the draft was in English cards, and uh, their opponents were not happy. Oh. I really like the sci-fi stuff where the authors just imagine really cool, intricate worlds and do a lot of good world building. Uh, the next show, I don't think we've I announced think it, it I don't yet. think it's been announced, but it is happening. Yeah, it's going to be next month. Uh, I think it's probably like the 25th or something like that. It seems like they've been like towards the end of the month most of the times. Yeah. The Walsh, that sounds outrageous. Whoa, that's Actually, wild. speaking of Martin, there's a there's a judge call against, or with it involving him, where his opponent casts Summoning Trap, which is, the, you know, look at the top seven yep. cards, put a creature into play, and... Like, end of turn summoning traps, and if the opponent hits, like, a primeval titan, they just win. But otherwise, they're probably just going to lose. Mm -hmm. So they accent, they, they go, they draw seven, or they, they start looking, and they're like, miss, 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 miss. And then they accidentally drop to eight, but they missed on all eight. And the judge ruled they just get to reshuffle and do all of again. And Martin what was like, the? what? That's and outrageous. It, it ended up being not that. They ended up, they just got a warning for looking at extra cards and they reshuffled the seven or the, the, the last one, the eighth, but yeah. kept the first seven. But it was just, it was just. <laughs> You're like, oh, I didn't get any. One more, yeah. one more. 
Because it means if you missed on the first seven, you just grab the eighth and be like, oops, I got eight. Also, once you do that, you're so likely to hit a pretty evil... Oh, no, I guess you'd shuffle. Yeah, but still, it was just... Even still, yes. That was actually one of the first times I played against Pat Cox when we weren't actually friends at the time. And, you know... oh, Arena? They're playing Arena and Inca. It's just like kind of the cue ball stars. So, again, (laughs) you got a lot of pressure here. Um... But uh, I was playing against Pat, and I uh, mana leaked to turn two wall wall uh, overgrown battlement. And Pat looks at me all weird. Then I realized, all oh, right, there's something trapped in this format. Um, I would still try to sower it. Yeah, I think, I think I'm gonna. Play I'd play the Meyer though. Maybe try to fetch. Something yeah, he might as thin. Teddy, uh, no, the reason you can't redeem is because they've there's only two a day, so there are no more Julita treaties today. I think if they have a uh, living death here, it's really not bad for you. You get to go phantasmal image of the grave titan, uh, and then play recurring nightmare, nightmare. sack a zombie token, get back sower, sower and, steal and steal the grave, the grave titan. titan. Yep, yeah. agreed. Yeah, Pat. It was funny. Pat, Pat's very like stone faced, but he's like, "What?" And I'm like, "All right." <laughs> <laughs> You've activated my trap card. Bum, 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 bum. Beep. Beep, beep, huh, that's brutal, Felix. That's, it's lucky that your opponent uh, and you agreed. That was pretty good. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, does it matter? No. You, don't, you don't have a uh, shallow grave. I guess grave. corpse dance also? No, yeah, corpse dance is target, right? No, no, they're both top. Blood crit mm-hmm. sounds good. No. All right, so let's go. That leaves me with yeah. proper mana. Image. Copy you. Let's get some tokies. Pretty play nice. Oh yeah, first. I should play around days. Yeah. Don't daze me, bro. This is sweet. This is sweet. They play. They they played into our trap card. Oh, yeah. Sorrow of temptation and great. No, 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 no. Oh no, zombie. just a zombie. Yeah. yeah. Then we have double. Oh yeah. Things are your opponent's in grave danger here. <laughs> Boo. The thing is, even if they kill the Sora, they don't. They get their Titan back. They don't get to attack with it. You just get to recur Nightmare back again, and uh, you have a Grave Titan that's ready to attack. So, you're in pretty good shape. Obviously, if they have like a damnation. They can kill everything, yeah. but you still have... But then uh, we have... Well, then they're just dead. Because then you just... Rakdos has returned them, and they have the Phyrexian Arena out, and you have a tarp. We have a tarp. Yeah, I was going to say, we could just start attacking. Yeah, this is going... Trying to think fun. about some of the, like, super sweet dinners that we've done. There's been a lot of, like... I don't know if it counts, like, tournament, or when we were in the city for a tournament. Yeah. I think that's kind of... Uh, some of my favorite dinners, of course, have been... I mean, the victory dinners are great, always. Yeah, obviously. Um, and then, oh, there's that. There's that. There was a one place like PF Chang's, but it's not PF Chang's. Yeah, yeah. That yeah. place is amazing. Yeah. That place was really good. Yeah, it's in Richmond. Yeah. Yeah. But it's also called PF Chang's. But unlike PF Chang's, it's actually really, really good. Some of the Vegas dinners have been pretty sweet. Yeah. Just like. The the yeah. The, the dinners after like a tournament when you're blowing off steam and you have the tournament resolved are just so good. Plus, you get to celebrate the people who did well or the people who didn't yeah. do well. Like, you get to have some drinks. I also love the board states where we have two Grave Titans and they don't have any Grave Titans. Yeah, me too. Those, those, are, those are ones that I enjoy. <laughs> oh my gosh. The, the place in Kyoto that we went to after the tournament, almost like a bunch of days. Yeah, that the, little Okonomiyaki, Okonomiyaki place. place yeah. That was so good. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Kelsey, I, I, I miss... There's a lot about going to events. It's funny because, like, I think I was getting to the point where I was, like, kind of off going to events. Not not entirely, but, like, the allure had kind of, like, I lost its shine because it's just gone to so many and whatever. But, like, now, having gone without for so long, I really miss it. And I think I'll enjoy it more once I'm back into it. I was, like, pretty burnt out of going to GPs. I was just, like, on the not go to I GP plan. Go to GP right but now... now- I mean, we were talking about this. Obviously, we're not going to do this, but we're on the, like, I kind of just want to get on the plane and go somewhere. Like, yeah. I would go anywhere right now. <laughs> beep, 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 beep. Yeah, me too, Stent. I was, like, pretty burnt out of GPs, but this certainly I mean, we're has we're also changed. just going to go to, like, a... 
we were going to rent like a cabin with like all the folks here in Denver and go play board games and stuff we for the weekend. We canceled that. We canceled, we canceled TwitchCon. We canceled yeah. GenCon, which is about to happen in a second. They're going to get Ophiomancer, I guess? That doesn't like really do a whole lot. Yeah. <coughs> that was easy, man. That's cool. That was a while ago. Origins, yeah. Oh no, I'll get a keeper. Yeah, the Magic Fest, once they come back, I actually think they'll be like pretty. There's gonna be a lot oh, of people who wanna I go. Think, yeah. I, I am like, I am just ready for Magic Fest to yeah. be back. I'm looking forward to that. Glenanold? Uh, that's. Glen. No. <laughs> it's, no. <laughs> it's not called Glenanold. You're just saying things. Yeah, you can just flunch now and they're just basically dead. Yeah, Molly, I mean, I'm assuming that too. No, Glenanold is not a thing. I, would, I mean, I wouldn't attack with the sower, but I think. Hmm. Can you hit hit with everything else? They do have the Snickerino. They're gonna eat our real Grave Titan, and then we can rack this as return four. Currently four, four? or five, if you want to pitch recurring nightmare. Which I guess it depends on how they block. They're probably just gonna hmm. chomp. Yeah. No, I agree, Beer Mystic. You, you, we're gonna get to attack with both Grave and Olds here. <laughs> Chat, don't encourage this, please. Um, you, so don't, what, you don't know what we deal with so, so, around here. <laughs> so what, what happens? So you, they're definitely gonna block snake the snake token on one of the grave titans, um, and then zombie can block zombie, and then zombie can chump grave titan, and then if they if you attack with sower, they get to block with arc mage. I would. Prefer... We can't attack with sower. Yeah, I don't think so. I think I just attack. So if you, I, 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 I think, think we can attack the fake one, maybe. Just attack with both Grave Titans and the zombie. I think that's good. Okay. Like, you lose a Grave Titan, probably the the fake one because that that's the one getting sword. But then you can just get it back. Also, can... you get four zombies out of this. Yes, we we get to recurring nightmare swap. I mean, I think this is fine, and then you get to you. I mean, they're, they're dead. Also, if they let this zombie through, they're really dead. Well, it, they're kind of screwed either way, Time Twister. I guess they block the real one and have that one die. Yeah, that's no. fine. That, but then they don't have the out of killing Sower to get their get them back. Arena's just such, such a not good card. Yeah. So they didn't just die, but now you just, I would just, I would exile the Bitter Blossom and just rack just to return them for five. For five, yeah. And then now, between Arena and Tarpit, they're mega dead, and I, you have four zombies in play. I have a hard time imagining that they can recover from this. Yeah. Right. Bye-bye, Bitter Blossom. The Sower and Old really got them this game. Royce, oh my god. You're losing mm -hmm. it. Five? Mm -hmm. That's right. Let's see what they got. Show me what you got. They are going to get fresh two cards, thanks to Frexian Arena, though. <gasps> they have four, so... Oh. Oh, no, that was just them taking the damage. Okay. Oh, wow. I, they didn't have a good chance to use the Inca as this game. That's unfortunate. <laughs> <laughs> so they're down to two, and now they have to block all of our zombies. Doesn't look like... Oh, well, and your tar pit. And their oh, yeah, we have a tar pit, too. It's Forgot just... about that. For them to win, they'd have to do something wild like Ancestral Recall, Demonic Tutor, Lotus, Yogwill tendrils you out or something, which is pretty, pretty not, 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 not gonna happen. All right, you you won the high stakes match, Gabby. You, <laughs> you it, defeated the Inkai's Arena guys. deck. You get your cube card revoked when that happens. It's really not to throw shade on the opponent. People could play whatever they want, but those cards are just always last picked in cube for a reason. So yes. like losing to them is like especially demoralizing, you know. Oh well, look, Kate's crawl. And Uncle Tristvin has jumped BK. Yeah, Kate's crawl's watching the stream right now. Yeah, Kate's crawl was here earlier. I don't mm -hmm. know if Kate's crawl. The Kate's crawl's still here. Jackie and I have been the opponent, just not the cards they're playing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Beep 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 beep. Currently double queuing. Wait, what? I mean, I would keep this hand. Yeah, I'm not happy about it though. Yep, that definitely happens, Molly. There are Molly. Yeah. <laughs> this is the hand where you really want to draw Chrome. Oh, you're on the play. That's oh, never mind. This hand's awesome. Uh, I think I want to fetch some shocks. Sure. Yeah, you could. Um, Bloodstained Mire gets me. One as long as you get by you, it's fine. You, you've got, you've got a bio and a blood group. So. 
All right, let me go back. Um, I'll just play both yeah. my sign. It is funny. You have all five colors represented, but you don't actually have any white cards here. No. I haven't seen this deck scroll, but I'll scope it out. Oh, the Mully deck? Oh my god. I was like, Mully, you should have your card, cube card revoked. Then yeah. I found out it was a chat draft, so... So I can go Blood Crypt by you turn yeah. two? Boo. That was boo. Oh, the, the screenshot named BK was uh, three creature lands in play on turn three that were all five colors, I want to say. Yeah. Cause no, it was four of the five. Four? It was Sultai one, so here I think I'd leave with Ashiok. Sure. Um, I didn't actually make a list, Voidhawk. I did say that I think Ink I should be cut from it and a few other cards. It was on my podcast, actually. That's where we talked about it. Um, let me just play Isla and yeah. Ashiok. No days. Don't daze me, bro. Oh my god. No, 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 no. Oh, good, 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 good. Is there good. days? Force negation? Or good, force good, 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 good. We're playing against like Storm or something here? We're playing against Bolt. There's for knowledge. Mm, I mean, it? this could be this still like a normal still. deck. Ashiok is such a fast clock. It's ridiculous. Yeah. It it's really funny is. that against. Creature decks, Ashiok's really threatening because it, it just threatens to put a creature into play very soon. And against decks that don't have creatures, it can often snipe win conditions. But, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see. Keep going. I think I would just play Leo here. If they twin you, they twin you. This, twin. Their deck looks awesome. They have one spell secret. This just looks like <coughs> a blue-red blue deck yeah. to me. Let me play... I think I want to play the Hallowed Fountain. I guess we could play around days by just playing... A, a no, Fountain. you want to play Skull Clamp too, oh, so... Oh, that's fair. So let me just go ahead and play my yeah. this, and then we can go this, this, this. Nope. I need to tap green. Black. They're deciding whether to exarch your, your island now. Yeah, if we, if we twin, we died a twin immediately. That would not be surprising. Yeah, every card looks great so far, but yep. what can you do? This does look like... Indestructible's not. Questing Beast doesn't get around Indestructible in Ancient Sig. I mean, if they don't twin us, this, this hand's great. Oh, nice. Now now it's like going to be pretty hard for them to get out of this, because like, there's not that many good cards that stop us here. A Storm deck could, and so far they haven't played any cards that are necessarily bad in Storm, but... We could, uh, Spellseeker for Collective Brutality. Yeah, I think we're probably going to want to do that. Yeah, I am... Because who knows what they're up to I am. There. I am interested on... Yeah, I don't know what... What, what is passing on four mana with their kind of deck? Like, is their hand horrible? Do they have all six yeah, drops? Yeah, that, now I'm, like, a little more confused. Me I don't too. Know. Confoozled, for sure. I think we want to Spellseeker and see what's up. Yeah, that's probably worth it. Um, they might have burn. Maybe that's what they have. Spell seekers are three, right? Yep. Kind of wish we had like a time walk or something. That would be nice. Yeah, well, I like brutality more. Yeah, I like it. Oh, plus spell seeker skull clamp. I might. I wonder if it's worth clamping it first. First, and then seeing where we're at. Yeah, that I might be better. I think I tap a... I think I tap a black. Sure, like the... Uh, probably no, black this yeah. one, yeah. Oh, I guess having mana up for mana leak, sure. Nope, they're off it. <laughs> but they, they didn't have mana leak last turn. I was just thinking, Molly, is because... Uh, oh, Mystic Confluence. Yeah, no, that makes sense. I was thinking that if we brutality them, they might have a burn spell for spell secret, but honestly, that doesn't even matter. Hey, what's up, Dom? Yeah. Hey, Dom, thank you. Don't know enough to change anything. It's possible against what we've seen, we want to swap out Flame Tongue and Rectus Return for Disenchant and Tidehole's Color, but I think I would wait on that. We haven't seen enough, I think, to determine that they're twin. Yeah. It's very likely. I mean, that does look like a twin deck, but I don't know. I actually might do that. I don't yeah. know. Flame Tongue just looks so bad against the, what all the cards we've seen. Yes, that is true. So at that point, I think. I'd rather just... So if we FTK and then we take the Rattus' return out, we bring in... I think just Disenchant and Skuller. 
And then, and then we have to make some cuts. Uh, we no longer <laughs> need Blood Crypt, right? Yeah, you don't need Blood Crypt. You don't really have to change the mana base, though. <laughs> yeah, you change the Fumarole, but... Sure. Hey, what's up, Shivam? Oh, Shivam, hey, welcome. We're basically just a blue-black deck with, like, two green cards and two white cards. I think we just add Island Swamp. We could add a plane. You might want to actually add Island Plains. You have a lot of black sources, and uh, sure, I think fine. one more Plains is probably good. I guess they can't use the Confluence draw two modes, yeah. so maybe that doesn't even matter. Shivam, I have reached the point of this cube where I'm on mono, like, rainbow decks. I feel like all my decks <laughs> just have rainbow mana these days. Taste the rainbow. I'm gonna keep this and just. I would keep this. It's it's. It's, it's not, not great. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome, couple. That's noodles. awesome, couple noodles. Good luck. Um, this isn't great, but uh. This one has outs. Yeah, I mean, Bitter Blossom looks good. If they're a twin deck, obviously it's bad. But if they're just like a blue red control deck, Bitter Blossom's fine. And then recurring nightmare means if you go Skuller and they counter or kill it, you can just nightmare it back. Yeah. So. I like it. <laughs> oh, nice, Dom. That's exciting. Again, Chromox, the card we want most. The Chromox, you all... I mean, the nature of Chromox is you want it in your opening hand. That's the whole point of the yeah. card, so... But, we could still draw it next turn. Yeah, it would be a lot better on turn one, because you could yeah, play a turn one Blossom. Yeah, you could Blossom. Yeah, I mean, if we get Glenn out, we're, we're in really good shape, but we have drawn two spells so far. Also, Sower is one of the really bad cards in your deck in this Sower matchup. Sower is definitely a feaster so in the matchup. It's possible we want to try to board that one out, too. If they have, like, artifacts, if they're like a Worm Coil style deck, then you might want to bring in the Banishing Light also, maybe. I don't know. Sower is just not good against Blue Red spells. They bolt it or counter it. They don't have that many creatures. They might be tinkering you here. Spell Seekering. Let's see what they get. Hopefully not an Ancestral. That would be bad. Yes, Glendalendra would be very good if we could get Glen down. Yeah, you need to draw land pretty badly Glen here. just like to raffle stomp so many decks. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, there so jealous. It's funny how much how you cut meat determines like its like taste and flavor profile. Okay, well that's Ancestral Vision. vision. I mean, Still pretty good. This game is going to last that long. But yeah. Oh, that's cool. You got a cool preview card. All right. Come on, baby. On top land. Specifically blue swords. Yes! Oh, that's really good. I would just scholar them. You drew a blue-white land? That's like the best thing you could have drawn. I, I asked for it very nicely. Oof. Yeah, Glenn, Glenn might actually be able to stop the Ancestral here. <laughs> yeah, we have Ancestral Recall at home. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's, so they are Storm. They are. Um, Frantic Search, I think. I might just take the Flame Slash. Oh, like they'll just kill the Scholar. Sure, I guess. Yeah, sure. Because, like, yeah, Recurring Nightmare does make it a little more appealing to take the other one. Yeah, but Blue like, Red Storm. Pretty yeah. clean Storm deck. Yeah, I doubt. Unlike the last feast. So I think what we actually want to do at post board is keep the Blood Crypt and Fumarole in and just be five colors. Just have Rakdos' return in your deck. Yeah, Rakdos' return seems good against them. Yeah. So they have. They, they have we're actually just going to glen the hell out of them now that I think about it. We just need to draw land. Yeah, drawing a land is important here. It's just. It's just come on, great. baby. Come on, baby. Hold on. Come on over. Come oh, on over, bad. baby. I think we're playing this, right? Oh, yeah. I mean, Ashiok is pretty dangerous for them. So yeah. you need to draw a land next turn, otherwise the vision's going to pop off here. Yep. Yeah, let's, let's try to steal some wind cons. Show me what you got. Gear Hulk, Mystic Confluence, Ooh. Desperate Ritual. These two can attack. Yeah. Cool. All right, we just, we're starting to pressure them. Yeah. We really need that land, though. We're going to have to put a Gear Hulk into play pretty soon. Also, like... Let's be honest, these storm decks, sometimes they can just do nothing. Like, they, even if their ancestral hits, there's a chance they just don't do anything. Yes. Obviously, you don't want to bet on that, but there's a chance. They're playing all their land, which makes sense if they think the vision's going to resolve, but really makes Frantic Search worse if we can counter this vision. So I think it's, this is it. If we draw a land here, I think we're just going to win. Land! Yeah. 
Amanda! Oh. Amazing. All right, so just keep going. Yeah. Get some good stuff. So I think I might just... Island Ponder. You could slam Urza. And that way Glenn will have the blue. Yeah, I think that's probably good. Because, like, you also have a Tide Hall of Skuller out, so this puts just a lot more pressure on the board. You get a 2-2. And you might even be in a spot... I guess you don't have quite enough mana where you can uh, play Glenn, and if they, like, countered it, play Recurring Nightmare, but you're, you're not there. That seems like it, yeah. Not not happening next turn, maybe yeah. the following turn. Though, well, I do admit, with Storm, you don't really get that many turns past a certain point. Actually, that's not true. If you draw a land, you can do all that. Because you can put the Gear Hulk into play as an additional artifact. Oh, that's cute. And it only even matters if they drew a counter spell. Yeah. So we still have the Ancestral on two. Seething Song Frantic Search. Yeah. Let's see if they play their land or not. Oh, they are going to play something. Oh, okay, perfect. So you just know this is going to work. Yeah. And because you have Urza out... You get to, you're gonna to want to leave something back, so you have enough to go. So I have twice. enough. Yeah, the scholar. Yeah. Also, you don't really want to attack scholar. Not anymore. Yeah. yeah. Um, so I think oh, you want to, we drew planes too. Yeah, I think you just want to put gear hulk into play. Right now. Yeah, because it makes your uh, construct bigger. It's true. For six. Shame we never got an instant to play. Yeah, that's too bad. Sorry, Squirrel, this good, clean Storm deck is uh, going to get beaten by an extremely messy non-Storm deck. <laughs> so we do need one blue, yeah. and I guess it's technically better to leave Island up in case they have Wasteland or something. Yeah, it is technically better. That's good, good good practice, even though there's no way that can come up here. Yeah, I mean, I don't think they are playing Wasteland. So now... Um, so now we can attack with... Definitely the 3-3... Three, three. And all the bitter so blossoms. You, 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 and I thought there's a two. There's no yeah, he can get arm. in there. I think yeah. that's it. Yeah. And they're basically dead. You, I mean, technically, between Frantic Search, Ancestral, and the top of their deck, they could string together an additional spell, but I really don't think that's gonna that's gonna happen here. And obviously, they're dead next turn. Yeah. Not to mention, you could even recur and never back, but it's not gonna come to that. All right, here it comes. Are we trophying with five color mono black? It's not on the stack yet. Okay, now I want to counter it. Uh, yeah, it's technically better to tap the skuller. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Just in case something happens to Urza. Mm -hmm. Alright, so they have to do something here. They didn't. Yeah, no, they... I mean, I guess if they go Frantic Search, you probably counter it, and then maybe they Mind Desire. This looks like Frantic Search, but they haven't even tapped enough oh. mana. Well, they should tap seeding three song. lands. Maybe it's Seeding Song. Frantic Search only costs two, but it untaps three lands, so they don't really want to tap their Signet, actually. Okay. Should we just let this go, or no? Yeah, I'll let it go. So we know they have no this, no this. They just have frantic search and an unknown. <clears throat> I think I would let them frantic search here. Yeah? Yeah. Like, they end up with one card in their hand at the end of it. Sure. And I guess no creature can really mess with us here. Yeah, there's not, like, even an Eldrazi is just not going to do anything. Like, yes, if they find Mind's Desire, they can Mind's Desire for three. Hey, Dark of Plays. No, I guess it would be four. But then you still have a... Uh, yeah, Mind's Desire is the only card I could even think of that gives them a chance. And even then, a Mind's Desire against a Glen for four against a Glen is just not Doesn't that like scary. I, I feel like it'd have to be something like Thousand Year Storm or something, and we can just counter that. I just got Ice and Island. Good, Zarko. Yubi Life is... I mean, we're like a weird kind of four-color Yubi deck. It's yeah, kind of Mod Podge. Yeah, I mean, you're, 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 you're splashing an Oko and... Uh, oh, the untapped your lands. Yeah, they're dead. Boom, boom, boom. And then Bolt. All right. Yeah, they are Dunzo. Yeah, you drew the lands. I like their style. Let's see if they said anything. No. Technically correct blocks. Yes. 
<laughs> Might as well. Why not? You should actually have them to see a little more of their deck. Their deck looks good. Isn't this the last game? Yeah. I just want to see more of the cards. <laughs> you just deck. want to see? You just want to know? Oh, I think they're too. scooping. All right, all right. <laughs> 204. 204. Easy, easy game. Wait, is Glendalendra bad enough that, to cut from the Legacy Vintage Cube? Who's saying that, Slurms? Slurms, link me to the thread so I can continue to, to put people on my list of does not understand cube. <laughs> Don't think I didn't, I didn't forget about that Oracle Courser thread. <laughs> <laughs> this sounds like fake news to me. This, to this, this can't be real. No. I this don't. can't possibly be real. People have a lot of weird takes about cube, but Glendalendra being bad in Legacy or Vintage Cube is just... That's too hot of a take. Hotter than the sun. You saw it with your special eyes? Man. People out there with their hot takes. What is the worst card in the cube that people think is good? Land tax. Land tax. Land tax. No, people don't think it's good, though. So many people love land tax. I don't I run into people who love land tax on the daily. This does not qualify. If, we, if, you, if you were to put a Twitter poll, do we, is land tax good in cube? It would be an overwhelming no. People don't think it's good. I think a better example would be... I'm trying to think of there, there. There are good examples. Um, I, I I do get consecrated you... sphinx. I think might be might be among those. Uh... But there's been oh LOA yeah that's probably the biggest one between the delta of how good people think it is LOA? and how good it is. Library of Alexandria. Oh my God yes LOA is right. Oh, look, knows Turn one blossom. Oh yeah, show and tell is another good one. Cool. Yeah, but I think at this point people think show and tell is bad. Really, a lot of people still think it's good. I think. I mean, when you say a lot, like, like, what does that mean? Like, what percentage of the cube population? I like, don't know. the people who actually know how to cube don't. But, like, people who are, I think, otherwise good at cube think some of these cards oh, are good. Oh, get it. Oh. I thought they were thought teasing me. Sure. Mox Diamond? No, that Mox Diamond's actually good. <laughs> Mox Diamond's excellent. Dude, people <coughs> who comment in Gabby's videos, not. Well, yeah, that's not, like, the, the people I'm talking about. I, I would, uh. I might ditch the Deluge here. Deluge yeah. and, uh, and crank out a, yeah. a Bitter Blossom. Light, that's inaccurate. That's not even close, I don't think. The fact that it's League versus Normal Play does not make nearly as big of a difference as you, you seem to think. Let's make Splark. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> and that's funny, and care a bit. People, yeah... There's one of the cards are, 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 are pretty uh, Some different. people like Moat, but I think most people but, know again, that Again, I think Moat's generally panned, you know? Like, mm. it's like land tax and moat you frequently get with three cards in the pack. I think that the general cube playing populace doesn't think these cards are good. <sighs> Need some spells here. The, qu the quag. Yeah. yeah. I'm trying to think of what other ones. I I get the 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 vein of the question though. Um. Mm. Maybe like. Narset might be one. I I found Narset to be oh, like yeah? kind of medium. You think it's not bad? It's not bad. Tap but tap it's, I win. Thank you for the not, four months. It's not great. Emery's a little overrated. Yeah. Emery's not very good. Yeah, but I don't know if people think that Emery's good. I'm not sure about that. Cause Grace Sphinx isn't terrible, but um. <laughs> so this is kind of funny. I, you could mire for Bayou here and then animate Quagmire Mire and attack and them. Start getting in there. You, you wouldn't have red sources, but I think that might be okay. I'm in for that. We have so little going on. I mean, Sphinx I, I is not think, a bad. I don't card. think anyone thinks that Terror of the Peaks is good, though. I think Sphinx is like a a lot worse than it is in Legacy Cube. Is kind of my kind of more my complaint. I have found it to be among the worst of the six drops. Like it's closer to the, to Frost Titan than most people would think, because Sphinx was traditionally a Botman Cube. Dude, Beacon would be so proud of us. I know, attacking with the Quagmire. Like here. all we're doing out here is just attacking with the Quagmire. Hey, lady. Hey, what's welcome, up? Welcome, welcome. What are they doing over there? And are we scared of it? Uh, nah. uh, I mean, it's going to be good. It's going to kill our two tokens. Oh, I, I would love if Underworld Breaches in the cube. I'll just get to... I would it. put Sun Titan below Sphinx Squirrel. Uh, but uh, they're closer... Again, closer than I think most people would think. I would like you to draw not a land. How yeah. bad? Best I can do is land. I wouldn't play that, actually. Why not? Just you're taking damage for no reason. Oh, you sure. You just don't need it for anything, really. I'm going to play my island. Yeah. I guess technically I should have left the blue. Fear got in them. I don't know. Yeah. It doesn't matter. 
No, Fastbound is actually very good. Fastbound's really good in the right deck. Yes. It's not always good, but you have to do some work. I'd say there, there are cards in the cube that take work to be good, but I don't think those are bad cards. Oh, yeah, Phyrexian Arena. That's a good but example. People don't think that's good. Really? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe, maybe, I, I don't know for sure, obviously. You literally have not drawn a spell this whole game. It's turn five. I think I'm getting in there. Yeah, I'll get in there. If they want to trade with their Lava Claw, I think we're That's okay. That's fine. We can also just chump with Fairy Rogue if it comes you to my Elder's underrated. Everyone thinks it's crap. <laughs> it's actually playable. It's so bad, though. Winter Orb, yes. I think, is... M Molly, I consistently play against people playing Fast Bond and they're like mono green decks, and they, that's just not how you're supposed to use the card. But, like, you're just average mono green ramp deck. But, uh... It's good in decks with draw sevens and stuff like that. Yavimaya Elder is good in the decks that have ways to make use of the extra cards and or lands, like with Oracle of Moldaya or Dryad of Elysian Groves or Skull Clamp. Like, we had that deck that had Fast Bond and Skull Clamp, and Elder's just legit great there. It was good in that deck. We are grinding them out with this Quagmire. We really are. The Quagmire did so much work. <laughs> Jumpy, that deck was so cool. <coughs> I'm glad you liked that one. Quagmire was deal four, kill a land. It's awesome. Wait, when was the other my Eldra 4 one? Oh, when you could stack damage, you block a 2 2. Oh! And... Hopefully, that brainstorm, they don't have a fetch and they're just locked. Locked, I say. I would love a brainstorm. You just need a lock. spell. Come on. I, we really have not drawn anything. You found it? It's actually oh. a Reddit thread. There was huh. once a ton of them when Glenelendra was one of the blue strongest <laughs> four drops, but nowadays we've got DTMS <coughs> Jace. Architect without the most Whoa. recent Jace wielder of mysteries. Oh my god. <laughs> Slurms, thank you for finding that. Uh, that's a good point, Fiddles. The, the cards people overrate, you don't see as often. Whereas the cards people underrate, you see more often than you that's should. That's true. Like the strip mines of the world. Swords are overrated, yes. I think probably like Sword of Fire and Ice and Feast and Famine are... Actually, I think the whole cycle of swords might be the most overrated that people think is actually good. I think the biggest delta of the swords even is blue-green because people seem to think it just kills the opponent one hit. And it's just very much not the case. You can easily win a game where you get hit by a sword. I actually think that's the worst. It's worse than the green, black, or blue, red by a lot. When people, I think, think it's better because it's limited and you have fewer cards in your deck. That's so good, Slurms. Thank you for finding that. All right, Rakdos' return just kills them here. So, oh, me too, DC. They hit me with a blue, green sword and I cast Yogwell. Or past in flames, yeah. Uh, sure, whatever. It doesn't really do that much. Yeah, it makes it so that you have a little less pressure in play, but... Yeah, but also... Rectus like... return! Because oh! <gasps> you can get Blood Crypt off Marsh Flats. Pog. The greatest Pog champ. I think that's... Is that lethal? It's almost it's lethal. It's one, two, three... It's... Yeah, it's lethal. No, it's not. You have Dark Ritual. Oh! Yeah, it is. It's awesome. Oh, it feels pretty good. NBD. Top decking for the dubs is pretty good. You do one spell this game, and it was and it was Rakdos Return. That's a pretty good one spell to draw. Yeah. Get him. Get him. See if we can get their hand. They're probably not going to show us. Yeah. We don't really know what they're up to. No. Besides the fact they have a Thunder Mile Hellcat, which is really annoying against the stupid what, Bitter that, Blossom. That makes me want to board out the Bitter Blossom, honestly. It does make it quite a liability. It's so bad. Yeah, yeah. Maybe we want... Whoa, what's the dark, where's the dark? Oh, no, no, never mind. Sorry, I... I don't know what happened. I like Dark Ritual. <laughs> I don't know what that was. What about... We were, we did not end up with an excess of playables in this deck. Banefire? God, it's so bad. Yeah, let's get the Banefire in there. This is cool. What's the worst that can happen? We could draw Banefire. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, no, no. You know what? It's better just to play Bitter Blossom. They just won't draw the, 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 the Hellcat. No, they have, a, they have an Imperial Seal also. Yeah, this is fine. No, I think I'd rather have the Banefire. Oh my god, Squirrel, you did the detective work. What is this? This is the cube of the person who said Glenn wasn't good enough. <laughs> Wait, how many? They have four bitter blossoms in, in their cube? Is that, am I reading that right? Why? I, Why? I think it's just <coughs> listed weird because it's four different arts. Or maybe they just love bitter blossom. Look, yeah, yeah there's like three taigas. This doesn't make yeah, any sense. Knows. We can keep those. Yeah, this is nice. Yeah, we can go. I don't think I've ever mulliganed a hand where you could cast a turn two baleful strix. I don't know what's wrong with that cube. That cube has some problems. I'm gonna play swamp. Swamp. Oh 
my god, squirrel. <laughs> Dude. Squirrel is just like dangling bait in front of me, trying to bring up the cultic cube. But I'm going to resist. I'm going to take the high road here. Something squirrel knows very little about. <laughs> oh my god. Whew, look at you. Resisting. Oh, we can play a uh, Fimage Creepy next turn. Yeah, that's, that's decent. Beep, 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 beep. What is this? What the fuck? It doesn't actually do that much with his hand. No, you're, you're, you're pretty I'm happy. I'm just going to play nice. Island Fimage. Yeah. I kind of want to. Oh, yeah. And then if they kill one, you get to wreck Recurring Nightmare. Yeah, baby. Wow, you've drawn so many lands this this match. Like you still have not you, you still have yet to yet to draw anything but the one stupid thing. I guess you drew a recurring nightmare. That's unfortunate. That is very bad for me. Can you draw Oko and elk that thing? Oko Oh yeah, that's right, we have an Oko in this deck, don't we? And yeah. me. This is close. You wanna run out the recurring nightmare? have it out yeah, I might just play Creeping Tar Pit I was gonna say I think, yeah. I think we're gonna start attacking with Creeping yeah. Tar Pit to be honest and then the, the problem with uh, running out Nightmare 2 is they might make a play that kills one of your Strixes which they won't do if they know you have recurring Nightmare sure uh, no Oka's in the main deck yeah uh, Oka doesn't belong in the sideboard <laughs> putting Carnage when you're on the receiving end is, is, is just a, a statement is all are, are they gonna Thunder Maw you that would be annoying Yes, that would be very bad. No, 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 stop. No, no, oh, yeah. no, no. Oh my god, oh, yeah. no. Ah. That's really sad. Well, we get a creature and we get the Baleful Strix back. We can just block the... Yeah, so we just need to find a... Come on, creature. A creature. Creature. Ah. We could um, set up to animate Creeping Tarpit and kill it. Sounds horrible, but... Yeah. I might just play Nightmare and Wandering Fumeral. And then next turn you do have the option of animating Tarpit to bring it back. Yeah. I don't know, like, Rakdos return them for three just doesn't seem like it No, I, 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 don't, I don't think Rakdos' return was going to do that much for us. Like, even, even through Chromox. <laughs> like they would just still be left they are also kind of floating out except they does seem oh it was a very good vote time twister nbd nbd two lands all right no it's all about sending that they're message. still just like a four color value deck is what it looks like yeah slash half reanimator slash it just on it it's on a it's like five color pile. Oh, that's not bad. Yeah, they're 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 a little real, awkward with the Lulim. Yeah, I think you just have to do the tar pit thing. And I make the tar pit and get the billful back. Yeah, but you can you can attack Lily for three first. That's true. So I need to play. I mean, you you might want to play a a swamp so you can have. A they do have bolt in this fatal deck. Fatal push. Nah, it doesn't matter what they have at this point. Sure. Blue, black, black. No, 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 no. Oh, no, we yeah. won't swamp optics. Yeah, because you might want to cast Fatal Push on the on the zombie token. Like, yes, if they bolt your... It does look like they have. <laughs> Whoa. That's Did not expect messed that. up. Yeah, it's going to be hard. Um. Wow. That was messed up. Jesus. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't change your play. But we're going to have a hard time winning this game. I will say that. This is some real BK nonsense. Hitting a Planeswalker for non-lethal. Uh, well, what do you mean it doesn't change our play? We don't have a current nightmare anymore. Yeah, but what, what, does it change what you're going to do this turn? We could uh, Toxic Deluge, and then Lily has to die if it wants to bring Thundermaw back. We can't Deluge anymore. Oh, I guess before attacking, we could have maybe done that. Yeah, but then it just doesn't... Oh, no, then it doesn't work anyway. <laughs> yeah, because they would just bring it back, yeah. Yeah, all right, so let's just pass. No, Moxing doesn't... The Deluge doesn't work. We just die if we... We just die if we do that. Yeah. We take five, and then we take five. Yeah, because Liliana still brings the Thunderball back, so... 
a lot of people want to, to, to just kill ourselves on board, I think. Though, it's not like we're in an advantage position yes, we're now. Obviously, <laughs> we're obviously just dead. We're, we're, getting, we're getting killed pretty bad. Yeesh, but. yeesh, stop. Ah. All right, all right. Yeah, we're dead. Yeah. It's not even worth seeing another card, no, no, I don't no. think. All right. Um... Possible we want uh, banishing dis- light maybe disenchant banishing light. What do you want the Tide disenchant Hollis for? Color. Course of portal. Oh sure. And we saw mana vault too. You could if you snipe that, it's not too bad. You can take the bane fire out and maybe. Flint tongue looked pretty bad. I, we didn't see any actual targets for it. It kills nothing. Yeah. Probably want to planes in here. Oh, I might just take out Fatal Push for a planes. Honestly, we just haven't seen a single card that's good against yes, either. Yes, it's true. And then this way, I still think the Rakdos return has has decent outs. Yeah, yeah, this looks fine. Sounds good, Deca. Thanks for hanging out. Much love to you. Hope you have an awesome weekend. Oh wait, we wanted the Skuller too. That's fine. Oh, oops. This looks okay. Yeah, this looks great. We get we to go Fumeral into Bayou. Bayou. We're going to have all five colors in play on turn yep. three. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's an achievement unlocked for yeah. sure. Oh, yeah. This is Tron. What are you talking? What else could possibly be Tron other than this? This is basically the Vintage Cube Tron. <coughs> oh yeah. Ooh, Lily. Ooh, Shinobi. Oh, can we draw? Oh, uh, come on, land. Yes. Or I was gonna say. Mox. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, Gabby thinks bigger than me. Mm. Mox would be so absurd here. Hmm. I'm dreaming of a white Christmas, or I'm actually a chrome I'm dreaming of a fallen shinobi Christmas. Mm. Tapped, yes, yes. Yes, I like it, I like it, I like it. Mox, 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 mox! Oh, I won't complain about that. Yeah. Timmy did those! Thank you. Just so you're unfortunately so I'm gonna just, just in case they want to vindicate your lands, but I don't even, they don't vindicate the white, but they're probably going to kill the bayou anyway, or sure. a roll or whatever. Alright, if they tap out here, they look like a pretty juicy shinobi deck. Yes, they do. Also, they're not going to kill your Baleful Strix. It just doesn't make sense to. No, they would vindicate a land, I think. Well, hopefully they don't vindicate anything. Oh my god, they're vindicating a they're land. They're vindicating a land. <sighs> yeah, they are. Damn it. There's a few more. Alright, come on. We could... Mox! No, Mox! Mo no, we don't want to draw Mox. <laughs> Oh no, that doesn't work. Blue. You're right, yeah. you're right, you're right. Take it back, take it back. Blue, blue, blue. Just play that. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god, we were so close. It's like, also, I hate that the stupid Vindicate play is working out. Yeah, I mean, we are playing a lot of colors, so it's a little more reasonable, but it is not generally a winning play to Vindicate their lands. Blue. The thing is, blue. if they play like a Corsa Portal, we have the Banishing Light. Blue. If they play a creature, we have Chupacabra. Like, I think we're in okay shape here. Okay, well, they do that. I don't mind. You love to see it. This is this is a player right after BK's hired. Okay, come on. Blue. Island is really not too much to ask for. Blue. Oh. I gotta hit them. Yeah, but like, I'm just saying. I think I'd play the nightmare. Sure. Well, no, actually, I wouldn't. Never mind. Why never not? mind. Because that it makes wear tear too juicy. They they'll kill your tricks. Right now, they're not oh. gonna. Like, you definitely play your land, but, like, they're not going to kill your your Baleful Strix with a Wear Terror. But if you play Nightmare, they, they might snipe both. It sucks because, like, drawing a land for Lily would... Having Nightmare in play when you mill two on Lily would be nice, but, like, I, I don't think it's worth the risk. Especially since if you put a Lily into play, you're pretty happy about the outcome. Yeah. Man, this is rough. Breaking we, on blue, that we was... We need a top deck here, but, like, we have answers to almost everything. They're also not doing a whole lot. They just did brainstorm, so I assume they're gonna play something good here. That's true. 
Okay. Oh, oh my god, if we should know if we should know be after the Imperial Seal. That would be so sick. Please, one time. That's all I want to do. I've never asked for anything in this cube season. Except yeah, the, all. except a lot of things, but I really want this one. Okay, okay, okay. Oh my god. Blue. Stop it, blue. No. It doesn't. <laughs> So brutal. Ah. All right. Well, we get, okay, to, we get to play Lily. We get to play Lily. It's fine. Um, it's fine. Let me hit first. Yeah. <sighs> we get to play Lily. We haven't seen a card out of their deck that really brutal, owns, owns us here. Like, yeah, but this is brutal. God, we would get to Shinobi with the Imperial Sealed for. So sick. Uh, right on schedule. Didn't really want to draw Oko anyway. Anyway. Yeah, but it's th that's just the first time we've seen him yeah. in the entire draft. So if they play like an Inferno Titan, we're still just fine here. Yeah, we can just get to troop it. Okay. We lose everything, but that's fine. This does look like it's Inferno Inferno Tatas. No, it looks like that. Oh. oh. Oh, so now you can discard everything but recurring. But recurring right? nightmare, yeah. 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 yeah, that wasn't too bad actually. No. Having drawing the land for Lily was pretty good. Probably gonna draw the blue now. Oh, oh get out. Yeah. Um. So what are we swapping? Well, you're a plus Lily to see if there's anything decent. Yeah, anything better. Yeah. So we're in a Feomancer. Nah, I would just hit and put in a Shinobi, I think. Yeah. What are we swapping? The zombie. <sighs> um, I might actually swap out Strix because it's kind of nice to be juggling Strix around. It is nice to have the option for that. Mm, drawing a land would have actually so, been really good. So get Shinobi, swap Strix. Plus, I'm thinking like if they uh, if they Thunder Maw, we lose the Strix, and now That's they true. they can't play a creature blocker. Also, they're kind of dying to this Liliana. Like you, they're at eight now. You you kind of you kind of yes. just beat them down. They this don't. is so disappointing because we could have had this like insane Shinobi, but like yeah, I mean, from what we've seen out of their deck, they're not grinding in good them shape out like here. this is fine too. If they play the Infernal Titan, we also get to swap into Chupacabra. I mean, they lose if they play almost any creature here. Mizium Mortars. Oh, okay, that's, that, that's good, but we still get to make a zombie. Yeah, the Liliana is still just. Oh, that's Ooh, nice. Oh, that's even better. Yeah, so I think you start with Freebooter because it gives you the most info. Yeah, so let's go Booty. Hologons come in and bribery. Is there anything good left to bribery in our deck? We, we took out Flame Tongue. Yeah. Uh, bribery Sowers in the yard. Sowers in the yard. Glenn? Glenn's oh, not even that uh, good. Leovold, I think, yeah. is the only thing. Okay. So we might just take Kologon's command. It does seem like that's... It also kills the Brute Fury yeah. Booty, so... All right, so now we can make a zombie yeah. and swap for Shinobi, probably. Yeah, I think Shinobi's probably still good here. Okay. Yeah, I mean, we're like, what? How are they going to get out of this? Now you can't even. They can't even kill Lily with a creeping tar pit. They might be on the like activate lava what claw reaches. Land? Did they have island in hand? They did. Yeah. So, so they played that. We only know about bribery. Yeah. I mean, obviously they're gonna bribery you. Plus, if they if you took bribery, that now they would get to cast both this turn anyway. So. Yeah. Yeah, they bribery you. They they get a Leovold or something and. Hey, Talatus, welcome. You can like, Lily, Chupacabra the Leovold. Yeah, Lily Chupacabra. They draw one, but then we can still attack and. Yeah. Get to other cards. I wonder what the Imperial sealed for. Was I think it was the... Rakdos return. Because hmm. we weren't doing anything. I think that was good. Sure. I mean, it could have been bribery, but like, I don't know. They, they, I guess they ran into a, they never, didn't run into a spot where they could play it because they had Demisium Mortars us. Fallen Shnui always gets his man. <laughs> <laughs> you almost won to the K command so you can discard Urza. Yeah, I mean, Urza would be better for us in our graveyard. We're never yeah, casting it this game. Yeah, it... The thing is, it's just... Oh, wow, this is the wow. best I've got. This is not very good. So, 
are they gonna block your shinobi with their lava claw reaches? Is that their plan? I think so. And they're just attacking. Grind out the Liliana. It's they a rough just, way to go. They might just this. not have anything in hand. Like if they don't have anything, this just makes sense. Yeah, drawing the land would be pretty nice here, actually. <laughs> well, that's old garbage. That Whatever. was the next hit. I guess you hit them and force them to to block yeah. with the lava claw then. This is... Wow. Yeah, they're in a minute. Yeah, that is the plan. Yeesh. I wish we could kill that instance. Now game. they have, like, almost nothing to bribery. It's, like, any good. There's, nothing, the le there's nothing good. So what, what can we get back with? Uh, I guess we can plus Lily to see what our options are. Uh, let's see are. what our options are, I think. Fimmage? Fimmage could get us another Fallen Shinobi. I like that. And then, and then we eat the zombie? Yeah, yeah, I would eat the zombie. I mean, that's got to be better than whatever the next thing is, Ophiomancer. There's a Baleful Strix, too. Oh, I might actually just get Baleful Strix. Because that seems like it's something you draw a card, you get, draw to, card. you get to recur Nightmare again. Oh, yeah, a land. Yeah. If you yeah, that land, seems yeah. worth it. So, Strix, zombie. Because it's not like you need two Shinobis all God, that God, I love Recurring anyway. Nightmare so much. Recurring Nightmare is very cool. Land, 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 on top. Yes, it's also blue source. Oh, is it better to just play Leo? Yeah, I would just play Leo. You draw a card and they bribe you. Yeah. It also stops them from top decking like a Wheel of Fortune or something. True. I guess we haven't seen that, but since we do know that one of the two cards left is bribery, might yeah. as well. And there's no way they can afford a tar pit again here. They should have just bribery you. This is like wild that they didn't. Like, obviously we didn't yeah, take... Yeah, didn't they bribery us? I mean, we didn't take bribery, so maybe they thought we didn't have anything good. But, like, their their line of play was just a losing line of play. So now, I don't know. I, I don't think it really made sense. Like, they were in a good position. It's not like a bribery would have really worked. But, like, the way they did that, I don't think was uh, giving them a chance would to win. Love to you. So what are they going to get? I guess they... I don't think there's anything good left in the stack. Glenn is the best card. There might actually just be nothing else. I don't even know what else. Uh, Professor, that's not how recurring. That's not works. how it's. Yeah, that doesn't it's work. Not, it's not instant speed. Yeah, she even. Well, I would not imagine recurring Nightmare would be a pleasant card to play against in DDH. So I don't. Don't blame you. So you can't play. Oh no, you can play Nightmare. They, no, yeah, they're, they're just dead. Because if they counter it, it comes back to your side. Then yeah, you I was gonna say you get to Ooh, steal nice it. Nice little trophy. Yeah. Good Boom, stuff. baby. Um, Luis, do you want to do the honors for the outro? All right. If you're watching this on YouTube, thanks for watching. I stream weekdays at around two o'clock Pacific. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you later. <laughs> Is that it? Yeah, yeah, that was pretty good. If you like this video, you can subscribe for more. And if you want to come say hi to us on the live stream, that's on twitch.tv slash I stream every weekday in the afternoons, mountain times. See you later.